So I've come to realize that I am in a very important, life-changing part of my life. I'm 18, I'm an adult now. Now yes, 18 isn't technically like really, really adultish because most people would say like 21 because that's when you can actually do everything, but that's beside the point. I'm 18, which means I'm an adult. And uh, for the longest time, I dreamed of being 18, being able to take my life into my own hands, having my own rules in some cases, and just being able to accomplish those big kid adult tasks and really start to grow up and choose my path. But that didn't exactly happen. I turned 18 about a year and a half ago, I think, and to some extent, nothing really changed. Yes, I went to college, which I guess you could say that was a very big life life-changing event that has definitely helped me be to become more independent and more of an adult but I'm still not really taking advantage of the abilities and the opportunities of being an adult and being able to take your life into your own hands and all of those awesome wonderful things I feel like at this age and point in my life I'm basically at the fork in the road where I get to choose which way I want to go whether that's left or right or forward and in some cases, for some people, and for me at times, backwards, which we're really trying not to go for. But here's the thing, I was dreaming really big. I had all of these great huge ideas of where I wanted to go in my life, what I wanted to do basically at that fork in the road, like I said, except I wasn't actually taking action. I wasn't forming the habits or creating the to-do lists, I guess, to be able to accomplish that path. And uh, that's where I really got to thinking. I'm at a point in my life where I want to take my life into my own hands and I want to be able to really choose my path, figure out where I want to go, and just become that adult and accomplish the tasks and goals that I have been dreaming of for who knows how long. See, I'm a big dreamer, like I said, I dream really big, but now it's time to actually accomplish those big dreams and really figure out what I'm doing and just go down the path that I want to go down. So that's where this wonderful series came into play. I really want to learn to have my own opinion about things. Go find new things to like motivate you and energize you. Like be aware of those things that do that because honestly it can help you so much with being able to just keep going, right? Because you can't live off of just one motivator, right? One thing that's like, oh, music motivates me. Well, when you're say like in class and you need motivation and you can't listen to music, you're gonna need to find new ones. Or just when music isn't motivating you, you gotta find new ones. So go find new things to like motivate you and energize you. Like be aware of those things that do that because honestly, it can help you so much with being able to just keep going, right? Because you can't live off of just one motivator, right? One thing that's like, oh, music motivates me. Well, when you're say like in class and you need motivation and you can't listen to music, you're gonna need to find new ones. Or just when music isn't motivating you, you gotta find new ones, so. When I look back on my week, I realize all the time that I still had or like when I dawdled and I get so hard on myself because I'm always pushing to be perfect and I need to not do that. There's always more to do. There's always something else I can be working on. There's always something I can be moving forward with, which is, I guess, healthy to a certain extent, but I just have gotten to the point where I'm like, I'm not good enough, I'm not. This is your little POV to tell yourself that you're doing good and tell yourself that it's okay, you know? It's okay not to completely accomplish everything right, right away. It's great to strive towards it and to be working towards it, but it's okay if you just take a minute. You know? I really want to learn to budget or to save my money so that I can later on go on cool trips or use that money for really cool opportunities later on in my life. We're just gonna add it to the cart. Yay, dress number one. Are we gonna add it to the, sh to the cart? Yes, ma'am. And we're snatching this one up right away. I am trying so hard not to spend all my money right now, but it's gonna happen. All my money is gonna be spent by the end of today. Or I wanna learn to be a little more productive, learn how to have a schedule or a routine and follow that. 
have to-do lists that I actually accomplish in my day. So I'm currently looking at my calendar. I have a ton of videos that I've been writing out and I just wanna make sure we're in order, we're going forward instead of in circles or backwards. I just wanna make sure I don't lose anything that I've got because I have so many ideas, so many things that need to be posted and are already posting that I wanna make sure nothing gets lost in the way. Learn how to love myself and have better self-care. And I have been looking on Pinterest, Instagram, seeing all these different places promoting like self-care. And my Pinterest is chock full of different types of tips, different checklists, routines, stuff like that you can do. But first I'm gonna do a little skincare routine. We're gonna brush our teeth and then head into the bedroom. Time for some moisturizer and some of this because it's my favorite thing in the world. So I am going to be taking you guys on that journey and together I want to just really grow and really become our best selves, become my best self and take you guys along with me. So here we go. Hello everyone. I am so, so excited about this. I've been thinking for the last little while, I've been home for a good amount of time and just been researching, trying to figure out more stuff to do for my YouTube to show you guys. I have a new series that I am going to be introducing to you guys. You guys have always loved my series. We've, we had the siblings argue series that went on for a long time. We had the sneaking out series, which I was sad to see that one go. And now we're starting a new series as we are growing up. So these next many videos are gonna be a part of this series. I've been planning, preparing, and just getting this ready for you guys so that you guys can enjoy it as much as I have enjoyed it. So I'm really excited. This series is the I'm Finally Adult slash As an Adult series. I haven't figured out which title we want, so let me know what you guys want. But basically, I'm now 18 years old. Um, I've been 18 for a little while now. It's time to show you guys basically what goes on as an adult in the early stages of adulthood, basically. Because I'm not 21, which is when you can actually do everything. As I've, once I turned 18, I realized you can't do like anything, really, until like 21. So they should have titled adulthood like 21 rather than 18. But I guess 18 is when you can do legal you can go to jail and stuff so but anyways this is just basically the starting to my adulthood I'm gonna be going on a mission soon and so after my mission I'm gonna be almost 21 years old so by then I will be a real adult so this is kind of my going into adulthood series it's gonna be so fun I'm really excited for you guys to be a part of this and I'm excited to be showing you guys this so yeah without further ado let's just get right into it 